Hey everyone, Spider-Man 1991 here, and like many of you, I saw Marvel's new trailer for Avengers Age of Ultron. Originally, the trailer was meant to come out during next week's Agents of, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode. However, it was leaked online, so Marvel decided to get, we're just going to release, release an official version, which they did. It's gotten millions of views already, and now apparently they're going to release a first clip, and now apparently they're going to show a clip from Age of Ultron during next week's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. anyway, so that's good. Um, there are a few things I I love the trailer, I really did, and there are a few things I want to talk about, which I will get to in the which I'll get to in this video. Let's get started with the movie's antagonist, Ultron. In the movies, the, Ultron is an AI AI created by Tony Stark instead of a robot being created by Hank Pym, which is his origin in the comics. Now, as we've seen in the trailer, Ultron now Ultron's pretty much doing the main voiceover for the, for the trailer, and I gotta say, James Spader's voice is perfect for Ultron. It's very, very nice. Um, during the trailer, we see that Ultron is become self-aware, and we see that while the Avengers are kind of having this little social gathering in Avengers Tower, Ultron suddenly shows up with like a body made out of spare Iron Man parts. <clears throat> and everyone's shocked by this, especially Tony. Shocked by this, especially Tony. <clears throat> also, there's a shot, and this won't be Ultron's permanent body, obviously. Ultron, in the comics, Ultron has changed, has upgraded his body over time, and that's something we're going to see during the film. In fact, the trailer did have a shot of a of a metallic hand and being forged in liquid hot metal, which is obviously Ultron, which is obviously Ultron, Ultron's new, possi possibly final body that we're going to be seeing in all the posters and marketing and stuff. I believe that the I, like many fans, believe that this body will be made out of vibranium, and I think that's a good idea because then this kind of gives a gateway to the Black Panther, Black Panther movie, and of course, and also Ultron, like in the comics, has an army of drones, drones of himself. We see we see during the trailers clips of like several Ultron-like drones being launched out of the water, apparently, or rather underground, and obviously to do Ultron's work. And I think that Ultron could basically be a bigger threat than Loki was in the first Avengers movie because the, mo the trailers do kind of give us this vibe of a, of a disaster movie. And since Ultron is electronic, he could be able to spread his drones through, throughout the planet. Just imagine the Battle of New York, but just on a planet-wide scale. That's what I think is going to happen. Because Ultron, after all, we didn't describe him as a crazy robot, and his main goal is... Well, his twisted goal is to protect the Earth, which he believes the greatest threat is humanity. And the only way he can accomplish that is by mass, mass genocide. All right, enough about Ultron. Let's talk about the new new allies, well, supposed out, soon to be allies to the Avengers, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, the twins. Uh, we saw them at, in the post credit scene for Winter Soldier where they're being held by Hydra. The Avengers, now, they've stated in this movie that the... The movie will kind of start off with the Avengers going to several Hydra outposts, uh, taking take down Hydra whenever they can. But here's the thing, though. If you remember in the post credit scene, Baron Von Structor says to the scientist he's talking to that that Fury only released the information he knows about. So it is possible that maybe the Avengers don't get to the twins, twins during their whole Hydra raid schedule. But, I mean, we cannot, I can't confirm or deny, but it is... A, possible, especially when there's a shot of Ultron in his factory with the twins by him. And there's also and also at the beginning of the trailer, if you look close if you look look closely, they the twins, Wanda and Pietro, are in a crowd that's apparently yelling angry things, which I believe are probably an anti avengers crowd. So also Ultron Ultron work, having the twins work for him, it is kind of a nod to how Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch first appeared in Marvel Comics in general when they were part of Magneto's Brotherhood. So, in a way, maybe Ultron saved them from Hydra, and now they pretty much swore allegiance to them. Then eventually, they realize, hey, Ultron's not helping helping out at all, and the Avengers are able to get them to join their side. Uh, the se there are several sh now between the two twin between the twins about who's using their powers most in the trailer. It's kind of hard to say. There are pretty much little bits about. Uh, we do get a shot of Quicksilver using his super speed when Captain America is fighting an Ultron drone, and we also see him like running and stopping, stopping nothing too flashy. Also, we see Wanda about to cast a hex bolt, and then we see her like screaming in pain uh, in a huge area of uh, in a huge desolated area. 
So that could be not to how powerful Wanda, how powerful the Scar Scarlet Witch can be. Because if you remember, Scarlet Witch's powers have always varied. They've gone from just altering probability to altering reality itself. If you remember, no more mutants. Mutants, and I think the twin, and also I think the twins' involvement in this. At first, if they're going against Ultron, then joining the Avengers, I think once people start to see how powerful they are, this could lead to the whole. This could lead into the whole Civil War story arc that Marvel is apparent that Marvel Studios is planning to do, which could introduce the Superhuman Registration Act, causing all people with powers to register with the government. Government. Also, I want to talk about Quicksilver uh, again. We saw Quicksilver last summer in Days of Future's Past, so. And I think a lot of people are going are going, going to be comparing the two. Um, so far, I think that this Quicksilver, the Avengers Quicksilver, is going to be a lot more mature than uh, than Days of Future's Past Quicksilver because, well, for one thing, we see. Well, for one thing, in Days of Future's Past, P Quicksilver, or rather Peter Maximoff, was was basically just this kid living in the suburbs who was bored because of his super speed, giving him a short attention span, who was basically a kleptomaniac. This quick, so, this Quicksilver, Pietro, yeah, they're going to use his given name, and apparently they are going to explore uh, his and Wanda's history, Europe, Eastern European history, a bit more. Um, and also, and this Quicksilver is just basically him and him and Wanda. So I think they kind of look out for each other, and he's going to be a bit more mature. And they even state he is protective of his sister. So, so in a way, I think this Quicksilver will be a bit. Pietro will probably be a bit more mature than Peter in Days of Future Past. We talked about the new characters. Now let's talk about the guys whose title is in, in the name of the movie, The Avengers. Something will happen to the Avengers that will cause them to sort of fracture in a way because there is a shot of Captain America, Black Widow, Bruce Banner, and Thor in a Quinjet and they're just not looking at each other. They're you can tell by their expressions they are very sad, disappointed, and they are not making eye contact with any of them. And it's kind of surprising for a Cap and Black Widow because they kind of became I'd say they became more more ally, more of allies between during the course of Winter Soldier. So it's interesting to see that, see that they're not getting along. Also, we also see Banner kind of in a nervous state, covered in a blanket, which obviously signifies that a Hulk incident may have ha that an incident may have happened involving the Hulk. And I mean, that's clearly I mean, clearly the trailer is say, is sort of stating that the Hulk does go on a rampage at some point, which is why we see Tony Stark having to bust out the Hulk Buster armor in order to in order to help quell the Hulk. Hulk also. Uh, during one of the shots where we see a bunch of bunch of uh, some soldiers firing on the Avengers in a snow snowy forest, and we also see Hawkeye dodging the shots. We also see a Bruce a dis sort of disoriented shirtless Bruce Banner, obviously again implying Hulk incident. So maybe during that fight, the Hulk Banner may have lost control of the Hulk. <clears throat> Hulk, and again they and again I remember that there was also an article saying that at the end of this movie that the Hulk will probably be gone for a while, will probably be off Earth and maybe in space, so, so that could be it, so that could be it. Also, Tony, also, Tony Stark is clearly another central figure in this movie, at, uh, oh yeah, when I said Ultron was doing mainly the voiceovers, there is a part where Tony, Tony does a voiceover where he says, where he's kind of looking on Ultron's first body and says that, this is the end. This is the end of the path I started us on. So obviously implying that Tony feels a lot of guilt over his creation of Ultron, and I think it's that guilt that kind of compels Tony to take to take the side of the Probe Registration Act. And clearly, no, all the other Avengers are angry at Tony. There's even a shot of Thor like going to Tony's lab and like grabbing him by the neck. So I think that might be a sign. So I think maybe implies that something happened to. Jane, Jane Foster, or maybe even Eric Selvig, which is what causes Thor to attack Tony like that. Oh, and speaking of Thor, there is a part where where we see Thor, Cap, Hawkeye, and Black Widow kind of looking at something in shock, and then Thor like dropping his hammer. And for a while, we don't see Thor carrying it for like the rest of the trailer, which is interesting. Although, you know, Thor doesn't constantly carry his hammer around, but something, if something made him drop it, maybe it was just in shock, maybe it's something more... 
more than that. Maybe I'm looking too much into this, especially with the current story arc in the comics going on, that Thor is no longer worthy to lift Mjolnir. Also, Black Widow... Also, we get some more Black Widow shots. Uh, she's first seen in an empty building and she... And the floor of an empty building, which might be the shoot, which might be a shield facility, and then we see her telling Tony that nothing. La Tony, she's responding to Tony's line of him ending the path, and Widow's saying that there's that nothing lasts forever, and then we see her somehow what looks like she's kind of calming the Hulk down, which is interesting, which is very very strange strange to me because at first it implies that the Hulk is going to be on a rampage and then that Iron Man is the only, only one that's going to be actually fighting him and then we have you know Black Widow actually being the one to calm him down and um, also Captain America and Hawkeye they're really well Captain America and Hawkeye aren't really shown much in this trailer I have, I have to admit that I mean Hawkeye we just get a couple of shots of them like looking around and Hawkeye dodged some shots and then we have some shots of Captain America walking walking around and him busting a door in busting down a door in some building which I guess is a Hydra facility. So so really not much of them. I will say this about Captain America though. There is a shot the second to last shot is seeing Captain America's shield shattered. Obviously because the shield in the movies the shield is made out of vibranium. Ultron's final body is poss is possibly going to be vibranium. So obviously Ultron broke the shield, and I think, and this is something else I think, when I saw the shield I kind of thought that, and all the talk about Civil War being adapted, I kind of thought that maybe the cracked shield is kind of a visual metaphor for how after this movie it feels like the Avengers are kind of going to splinter off, or sort of going to break off after this. Okay, so that's pretty much all the, tra all the characters that were seen in the trailer. Uh, we didn't get any look at Vision, though. We, we got nothing. There was, like, no reference or anything of the Vision at all, which I think is good because this was only a teaser trailer, and I guess less is more. And it could be possible that the Vision, they're probably say they don't really want to give away how they're going to reveal the Vision getting involved in, in the Avengers. So I, I think that... So I'm so curious about that. I hope it's going to be a good surprise when I actually see the movie, though. Um... <clears throat> But like I said, this was a teaser trailer, so less is more in a way. That I think that's good. Um, also, visually, the movie, the special effects in the movie look amazing uh, with Ultron's new, Ultron's body, especially the way the final shot where we see Ultron's face saying he has no, saying I've got no strings attached. And I mean, I thought that was good. The way they captured, uh, obviously, they may have used motion capture technology to capture James Spader's face as he said that line. That was brilliant. That was brilliant. Also, Captain America's new suit looks really, really nice. It kind of looks like a great fusion between the class, classic look and the suit he wore at the beginning of Winter Soldier. Um, also, Black Widow's got a new motorcycle, which looks really badass. It, it, badass. It can be launched from a Quinjet, which is awesome. And, of course, the, be uh, of course, the best thing I saw in the trailer was, obviously, the Hulkbuster armor. That thing looks sweet. It really looks like it could be a match for the Hulk. Although, it's just going to make the Hulk angrier, so so who knows how that fight's going to go. Also, uh, Andy Sir we, act we actually did get to see Andy Serkis in the trailer for about a second. Still have no idea who he's playing. Although, if what I said about Ultron making his, making his body out of vibranium, then the only place he could possibly get that is in Wakanda. And... And there is a theory amongst fans that Andy Serkis could be playing Ulysses Claw, who is the arch enemy of Black Panther, who wants to mine vibranium out of Wakanda. So, so that could be it. Um, yeah. So that's it for me. So that's what I thought of the Age of Ultron trailer. What do you guys think? Are you excited for the next Avengers movie? Please comment below with your thoughts. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, whether you're an old subscriber or a new subscriber. I'm Spider-Man1921 saying see you later.